My name's Tim. I have a company called Sommelier's Choice and hopefully we'll be marrying great wines with great fruit, which I don't doubt. It will be great food and they will be great wines. As soon as uh, Laura called me and said, look Tim, Mitch is doing something with Nathan down in Cornwall. Do you fancy going? Absolutely I fancy going. Wanted to do it tomorrow, but hey, the day's here. I've been looking forward to this. And yes, it's a great privilege to be here. So when you first smell, do you all know how to taste? You're all pretty professional. <laughs> I think first and foremost, he's flying a flag for Cornwall right now. When you reach two-star Michelin, you are certainly on a level that is above a lot of places. But he's such a talented, humble guy. And that's what I love about him. And I think Nathan's the type of guy that allows his food to speak for himself. I can't get over that octopus tentacle. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like some sort of trip. It's amazing. It's a little one. Um, but to bring British modern fish cookery into the lives of so many people I think is absolutely important and that's what Nathan has done for himself and also for Cornwall. If you've got beautiful things around you and you cook them simply, that's all you need to do really and that's what a lot of chefs don't really understand. What it's about for me doing the evenings is, is inviting people to my kitchens because I've been to their restaurant and I've loved it. And I've loved that food. Enjoy. You know, it's a relatively new thing because I started inviting people to the restaurant maybe two years ago. And then Hicksy started to invite mm -hmm. people to his restaurant. And he said openly, he said, we've never done this before, but we like coming to your place. So we're starting to do it at our place. Yeah. And now Corrigan's starting to do it. You're, start, you're doing it. I'm going to Mark's And well, you'll yeah. go to Mark's to do yeah. one. And I think the lovely thing about it all is that you've, you get this generosity amongst chefs and that's never happened before. And they're doing it because actually they, they enjoy, we enjoy each other's company because we're always too busy on yeah. in the daytime. Yeah. So actually doing these events is as much about enjoying each other's company yeah, as, as, as it is um, and enjoying the hospitality as it is cooking for everyone else. So. Yeah. And me and I'm inspired as well actually. And uh, the fact that Nathan's got two stars I think is a, a phenomenal achievement, especially for a restaurant that just specializes in seafood. And uh, especially that Nathan's attitude is so simple. And when we first met, the conversations were the same, and I expected Nathan's food to be a lot more fussy. And the fact that it isn't is just amazing. And, uh, and so chatting through you curing fish and then grilling it and then slightly smoking it and doing nothing with it, because you genuinely believe it's simple. And that, that is really what it's all about when yep, it comes to seafood. Definitely. It really is what it's all about. A plate of razor clams, a plate of clams on their own but done well. It's worth two stars, because yep, it's perfect.